Okay. Take the example, my brothers, my, my sisters, of Aisha radiallahu anha as well. At the age of 18, Rasulullah passed away when she was married to Rasulullah. You see, the wives of Rasulullah truly had a difficult time. Because he had a number of wives, right? He had nine wives at one, one stage. And the wives of Rasulullah, the Prophet traveled in his 10 years in Medina. He spent three years traveling, 36 months he traveled, and 19 battles he fought. So he, he fought 19 battles, he traveled 36 months. Of that, seven years he was in Medina, right? Seven years in Medina. Of that, every single year that he was in Medina, in Ramadan, he spent 10 days in Itikaf. Okay, Itikaf basically means secluding yourself in the mosque, away from everyone else, so that you can remember the day that you'll be alone with your God in the belly of the grave. So he did Itikaf for 10 days in Ramadan, uh, uh, every single year. In the last year, he stayed with, uh, in Itikaf for 20 days in Ramadan. Okay? On top of that, in one of the years, he actually stayed away from all of his wives for about one month. If you minus from the seven years that he was with his wives, because everything else he was traveling or whatever, from that you minus all the days he did itikaf, and you minus all the days that he was in back in, in uh, he was uh, that he had stayed away with his wives, and you divide that by the number of wives he had. What's the average number of nights you get? I did the sums and I got an average of 2.18 nights per wife per month. I can see silence. I can actually see silence this time, not just hear it. <laughs> yeah, 2.18 nights. What makes a woman stay with a man when the man can only give her 2.18 nights a month? It takes a woman of tremendous patience. Would you agree? It takes an exemplary woman, a woman of Jannah. And this is why I pray and I make a sincere dua to Allah that may Allah forgive our mothers, the wives of Rasulullah and enter them into the highest of Jannah with their Habib, with their beloved Rasulullah for an eternity. Because they sacrificed the most difficult thing to them in order to achieve some greatness and in order to achieve something great for Islam, which they did, subhanAllah. An 18-year-old woman, never to get married after her beloved Rasulullah passed away, was an amazing thing. Aisha radiallahu would say, I used to make dua to Allah, oh Allah, let me see my beloved husband in my dreams. So Allah answered my dua and He let me see him every second day in my dream. MashaAllah. And then, she used to say, I couldn't tolerate it sometimes, so I'd make more dua to Allah until Allah answered my dua and He let me see Him every single day in my dream. SubhanAllah. You think about it, it takes an exemplary woman, wallahi, exemplary woman of exemplary patience, exemplary dedication to be how these exemplary women were, SubhanAllah. Truly they were pearls. Truly they were pearls, SubhanAllah. How else? Could Rasulullah do what he did, subhanAllah, if he didn't have examples of these exemplary women that his wives were?